in Cognos, we know that we can set to save uh, the few last versions of R we've worked and how many versions will be saved, we can choose in uh, options. For that, we go here to Action Menu and then to Properties and then we will go to Report tab and then to More Options. Uh, here we can see that we, we will save the last two versions of our report. But we can also choose to save uh, the last run history of our report. Run history is just statistic about execution of our report. Uh, in this case, we will save only the last run history, but for this uh, other report, we decided to save the last two uh, run histories. Now, where we can see those uh, run histories? Well, for that, we have to go here to Personal Menu, and then we have to click on my schedules and uh, subscriptions. After that, a new window will be opened. We will go to that new window, and this window actually has four views. We can see those four views in this menu, but we will start from the last view, from the schedule. In the schedule view, we can see all the items that have their schedule uh, set, uh, independently of that, whether that schedule is disabled or enabled. Uh, here in the chart, we can see that we have four items with enabled schedule and one item with disabled schedule. Now, beside each of these uh, items, we have their action menu, and from action menu, we can run those items, we can see uh, their properties, we can uh, modify uh, their schedule, we can view their versions, we can disable their schedule, or we can uh, delete their schedule. Here at the top, we have a button to hide this visualization if we do not need it. Uh, then we have a button to refresh this uh, list, and we have a filter. When I click on filter, we can see that we can filter our list based on status of uh, each item. I will filter only uh, items with enabled schedule. Uh, then we can filter our items based on their priority. If uh, resources on Cognos server are limited at one point of time, uh, then uh, items with higher priority will be executed before uh, items with uh, lower priority. We can also filter our uh, items by uh, their type. I will choose only uh, reports and I will click on apply. Now my uh, filter is applied and uh, we can see our list is uh, shorter, but we can remove our uh, filters by clicking here on X to remove a report filter. And then we can click here on uh, X to uh, show all of the items. Now we can go to the next view, and that would be an uh, upcoming view. Uh, here we can see all of the items that are scheduled to be executed during the reminder of uh, today's date, because today's date is uh, default. So these are all of the reports that are next in the line to be uh, executed. Uh, beside each of these uh, items, we have an action menu, and here we can decide to cancel some execution. Now this will uh, uh, cancel only this execution, uh, but uh, the schedule will not be cancelled. But if we go to suspend, then we can uh, suspend our uh, schedule for, for a longer period of time, that is until this uh, date and time. I will not do that, I will just close it. Uh, then we can go to filter. Go to filter. We can see here that we can observe today's date, but we can also observe some other date. I will choose, for example, tomorrow's date. I will click on apply and in that case uh, we will see all of my uh, scheduled items because uh, uh, to, tomorrow they will be all uh, executed. So we are uh, waiting for them to be executed tomorrow. Uh, then in filter we can also uh, filter uh, these uh, items by the time when they are scheduled. So for example if I uh, select this option 5 p.m. Uh, we will only get one item that is scheduled to be executed at uh, 5 p.m. Uh, then uh, we can uh, filter our reports uh, that is items by um, their status, whether they are scheduled, cancelled or uh, suspended. Uh, we can also uh, uh, filter them by their uh, priority and we can filter them by their type. We can choose to filter only uh, reports or by their location. So we can uh, find some location, some folder inside of Cognos and only items from this uh, folder uh, will be uh, filtered.
but that will not do that. I will click on cancel and then I will click on apply. So our filter is now applied, but we can remove it by clicking here on X and then on X again to uh, remove all of the uh, filters. Next view is fast view. In, in the past view, we can see all of the executions of our uh, items in the last four hours. So that's default, uh, last four hours. Uh, beside each of our items, we have an action menu from which we can uh, run our uh, item again. Uh, we can see its versions or we can see details about its uh, run. Uh, at the top, we again have filter. Here we can uh, choose to see all of the items that are uh, scheduled of, uh, and executed in the last 4 hours, 8 hours, 12 hours and so on. Or uh, all of the items that are uh, executed in the last period that is between these two uh, dates and uh, times. We can also filter our items based on that whether they were successful, they failed, uh, they were cancelled. And we have these two options, purge and terminate. So this is something that, that, is, that only appears when uh, administrator of Cognos uh, does it. And this is used when we have some uh, problem with uh, Cognos, then administrator can uh, clear uh, the queue with all of our items. And in more filters, we can see that we can uh, filter our uh, items by uh, their type. The last view is current view. And here we can see only items that are currently executing. So that is why we don't see anything in this uh, list. We also have a filter here. Uh, we can filter by uh, status. So we have those items that are executing right now that are waiting to be executed or those that are suspended or that that are in a pending status. Uh, we can filter our uh, items by priority or we can filter them by their type or their location inside of some folder in uh, Cognos. And this is how we can peruse uh, execution of our uh, items in uh, Cognos Analytics.